Hello and welcome to Conversations Healthcare, Introduction to Medical Terminology. We will start with an overview. We will be talking about the language of medicine, a little bit of the history of medical terminology, principally so we have an idea of why there are so many ancient Greek words in the medical terminology we're using today. We'll also have a little bit of a look at spelling and pronunciation, although I must give you advance warning that a lot of the medical terms are pronounced differently, not just in different countries, but also by different health professionals. And there's no real audio guide to guide us. We'll also have a look at different types of medical terminology, and that includes general rules for word formation. In other words, just how medical terms are formed. The language of medicine. Are you learning a new language or a combination of English and two classical languages, namely Latin and Greek? And when I say Greek, I mean ancient Greek. After completing this module, you'll be able to spot some common prefixes, suffixes, and root words. But before we start, I think you should watch this clip because this will set your mind at rest about your ability to gradually learn to recognize common prefixes, suffixes, and root words. What is a hysterosalpingo oophorectomy? Let's face it, understanding medical terminology can seem like a daunting task at first. And in reality, there is no possible way for anyone to memorize all of the words in a medical dictionary. So, what is a hysterosalpingo oophorectomy? Believe it or not, there is a simple way to learn and understand these kinds of words. Most words like this are simply a combination of different parts or elements which include prefixes, suffixes, and word roots. Prefixes are syllables or elements placed at the beginning of a word root. It is used to make the word more specific. Suffixes are syllables or elements placed at the end of a word root and is used to indicate or describe a condition of the body and an action to a body part, such as ectomy, which is the procedure of surgically removing an organ. And word roots are the main elements within the medical term, of which prefixes suffixes and connecting vowels are added to. These elements can be identified by specific characters. A root word will be followed by a forward slash, a suffix will follow a hyphen, and a prefix will precede a hyphen. Although these elements can be identified by these specific characters, the best way to be sure is through practice. By learning the meaning to word roots, and the meaning of suffixes and prefixes. Learning this course will also enhance your ability to score better in the English portion of the SAT test and other similar tests such as ACT. Root words are frequently associated with a body part. A word root is always the subject or main topic of the medical term. For example, heart. Word root for heart is cardi, cardo, or even cardio. The slash is where the connecting vowel attaches to the root. An example, cardiomegaly. The method for deciphering a medical term is that you start with the last word part and work yourself up through each element until you get to the first element of the term which would most likely be a prefix. So you would need to decipher first the suffix, in this case being megaly. 
Megali means enlargement. The next element is the main element of the term, which is called the word root. Cardio, which means heart. The complete meaning for this term, cardiomegaly, is enlargement of the heart. You can then say, this term is indicating that the heart is larger than normal. Let's take a look at another example. Appendicitis. Our word root is append, which is the appendix. The suffix is itis, meaning inflammation or inflammation of. Appendicitis is the inflammation of the appendix. If you add the prefix pseudo to appendicitis, you get the word pseudo-appendicitis. Pseudo means false. Pseudo-appendicitis is a false inflammation of the appendix. The prefix typically serves to further define a word root. When prefixes, suffixes, or word roots are joined together, vowels can be added for pronunciation purposes. This is called combining form vowels. Of course there are always exceptions, but the general rules are a combining vowel is used when the suffix begins with a consonant, as with the word encephalogram. A combining vowel is not used when the suffix begins with a vowel, as in encephalitis. And a combining vowel can also be used when two or more word roots are joined together, such as with pseudo-appendicitis. Keep in mind, the use of combining form vowels, which is typically the vowel O, is primarily used for the sake of being able to pronounce the medical term, not so much for the sake of proper grammar. The combining form vowels neither adds nor does it subtract from the term's meaning. Let's take a look at one last example. This one is a little more of a challenge the original word that we looked at, hysterosalpingo oophorectomy. What a mouthful. And very important to note, if you are not aware of the meaning of a medical term, it can be very intimidating when medical personnel use terms like this. Medical personnel need to always remember that most people do not know what these terms mean. Under practicing medical ethics, it is very important that you use words or descriptions that the patient or client understands. What does hysterosalpingo oophorectomy mean? Let's follow the formula provided earlier. First, let's break down the term into elements. These are prefixes, suffixes, and word roots. Here's the breakdown, beginning from the right and moving to the left. Ectomy, which means surgical removal. Oophoro, is a root word for ovaries. Salpingo is a root word for fallopian tubes. And then the last element is hystero, a root word for uterus. Continuing the pattern on how to decipher a medical term, reading from right to left, surgical removal of ovaries, fallopian tubes, and uterus. It is now possible to understand the medical term hysterosalpingo oophorectomy. This term is a description of a medical procedure commonly known as a hysterectomy. Just because these words may look intimidating doesn't mean that they have to be. Simply learning basic prefixes, suffixes, and word roots will enable you to understand a lot of terminology you would have never imagined before. A very proven method of learning the meaning of prefixes, suffixes, and word roots is by using flashcards. Very simple to do. Watch. You can place a prefix, suffix, or word root on the front of a card and the meaning on the back. This easy study method is a great tool in learning medical terminology. But the best way to learn anything is to apply it. Throughout this series of videos, as you learn about the anatomy and physiology of the human body, you will be applying your knowledge of medical terms by learning them according to organ systems. So after watching the clip, I'm sure you're feeling a little bit more confident about your ability to learn to decode 
the parts that make up common medical terms. So, as we've said before, Latin and Greek, and of course many terms combine body part and illness or body part and procedure. 